There's some great energy in this room. I want to see a raise of hands. Who was here for the first annual Playlist Live? Wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. Who was here for the very start of the last annual Playlist Live? Some brave souls, some brave souls. So as some of you guys might remember, last year we did something similar to this, and it was a big hit, so we're doing it again. Um, Emerson and I are from the channel OMG Facts, and as you guys know, our videos are short, interesting tidbits about like anything really, like whales, belugas, like animals, political facts, science, etc. So for last year, what we decided to do was a special OMG Facts video about the YouTubers that were performing here at Playlist Live. Um, and then you'll know all these juicy and secret and awesome stories that a lot of them have never said before. And when you go up to them, you can just like point at them and make fun of them because some of them are pretty embarrassing. <laughs> um, so before the video starts, we wanted to share some facts about ourselves and then we're going to let the video roll. So my OMG fact is that I grew up in Quito, Ecuador, and it, this is in the, Andy, in the Andes Mountains, so there's a ton of volcanoes. There's like 30 volcanoes in the vicinity. Um, most of them are active, so you know any of them can do stuff every once in a while. So when I was 12 years old, I, my mom rushes into my room and wakes me up. And she's like, Gabby, Gabby, get up. You're never going to see this again in your life. And I was like, Mom, it's like two hours earlier than I wake up generally. It's horrible. Um, so she's like, no, come out. And she pulls me out of my bed, takes me to my living room. And there's this giant window where you face out into the horizon. And there's a giant volcano there with a mushroom cloud that's twice as tall as the volcano is. And I was just staring at it because it was coming towards us, and I was like... <laughs> and I just broke down crying because I thought we were going to die. <laughs> it was the scariest moment of my life, and thankfully it turns out that this volcano was only letting off fumes. So I don't even want to think what would happen if it were actually erupting, but it was a pretty, pretty scary moment. So, as some of you know me from another site that I'm affiliated with, uh, my nerd credentials, there's some serious nerd credentials in this room, my nerd credentials are, are we'll say at the very high end of that. I started a website a very long time ago when I was 12 called MuggleNet. I knew this room, of all rooms, like everyone here is a Harry Potter fan. So. <laughs> So, I'm extremely lucky, and uh, part of the reason I'm lucky is because through my role at MuggleNet, we got to do all sorts of cool things and get cool perks, like going to the premieres of the movies, which if you guys have seen the videos, are these glitzy, glamorous, star-studded affairs, the red carpet, the celebrities. Um, so one year, we, we went to the premiere, and then we went to the after party afterwards, and this is a story about persistence. Because at the after party, uh, this was, I think it was for the fifth movie, I uh, bumped into Robert Pattinson there. <laughs> now, this was right after, this was, he landed the role as Cedric Diggory in the fourth Harry Potter movie. And since then, he was looking for his next thing, and he moved to LA, and he wasn't having any luck. And he was, you know, feeling a little bit down because he'd been there for a while and was just kind of striking out. And he was hammered. <laughs> and I couldn't help but think, man, this guy, he was in L.A. Warner Brothers didn't even know he was in L.A., so he didn't even get invited to the party. He just kind of showed up for the free booze. I thought, wow, this guy's career is kind of, you know, not going anywhere. Well, <laughs> persistent story number one. Turns out, not much longer, he's on the cover of People Magazine at being cast in his Twilight role. So, wow, don't give up, right? Um, another quick fact, most people don't know, is that MuggleNet, the, the original name for MuggleNet was, I'm ashamed to admit, my 12-year-old brain thought this was really creative. Potterites United. <laughs> It had a starry sky background. I thought that was so cool. It had a scrolling marquee banner. <sighs> anyway, with that, I am very pleased to tell our audio friends over there to start rolling the video. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> 